What's going on, Rep Williams? What's up, Donald? Not much, not much. Ah. I just got one question for you today. One question, easy enough. Uh, do you, Ohio Legislative Watch has been trying to get your opinion on this, so I'm, I'm here on his behalf. Do you support exceptions? I've made my position clear for, on it. I support, I support the heartbeat bill. You support the heartbeat I've bill. I've made it perfectly so you don't, clear. So, okay, so you don't, so you don't support uh, any exceptions for rape or incest in your abortion laws? Not after the six week period of the heartbeat bill. Not after the six week, but there's no, but the, like there's no even, except like not after the six weeks. It's yeah, because like, before the six weeks you can have an abortion for any reason. But I mean, yeah, but most people, I mean, a lot of women don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks. That's why they're trying to do it that way. You know what I mean? I support the heartbeat, but I've made that clear. I mean, it's, it's, okay. I literally campaigned on the issue, so I don't need to. Every time somebody asks me to answer a question, I'm not going to respond. Yeah, that's fair. I just want, you know, like, the video. I, I just have open about my position. Well, but why don't you be in like real about, you know, like if, uh, you know, saying like the active law is 22 weeks. It right? is. Well. Uh, but that could end tomorrow if the Supreme Court but that, says. That still means it's the active law right now. Yeah, but that it, it's it's relying on the ignorance. It's not relying on the ignorance. The current you know law I mean? in the state of Ohio is that up to 21 weeks you can get an abortion for any reason you but want. But it's it's funny that for you got I mean the the uh, abortion is murder crowd to like now suddenly say you know well you can get it up to 22 weeks. I'm like, just saying what the current law is. I'm not yeah. saying whether or not I agree, but I think 21 weeks is way too far. Yeah. What's your prediction on issue one? Uh, I think it's going to fail. You think it's going to fail? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a close call. I mean, there's enough misinformation coming from the other side. Yeah. I mean, people ought to realize that issue one allows you to give an abortion up until nine months. You want to bet a dollar on it? I bet on what? Whether it passes or fails? I don't gamble. I don't gamble. A dollar? No. Gentleman's bet? Gentleman's bet? I don't gamble. All right. There's All no right. reason. I don't, so you, you predict a close win. So I don't, I don't gamble with the lives of babies. Like, I don't. Well, it, they're not babies. It, 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 yeah, they are. Issue one yeah. is going to result in, once again, disproportional loss of life of black children. We've already seen that. But why do you think that is? Why? Maybe yeah. because Planned Parenthood plants their shops inside of black communities. Maybe because the government has incentivized single motherhood rates in the black community. Through or do you think it's like a material conditions thing where it's been systematically don't have the material conditions to support no, babies? I think, I think there's been intentional efforts since a long time ago to dissolve the nuclear black family resulting in higher abortion rates and higher single motherhood rates. Those are statistically proven. I mean, the government has declassified the information. It's not even hard to find. That's a that's a pretty wild theory right there. No, it actually has been proven. I mean, yeah. that, that we weaponized the welfare system back in the 1970s to remove men from the home disproportionately affecting black families. That's that's yeah. facts. It's not a theory. It's, what do you think about Ronald? Facts. What do you think about Ronald Reagan selling crack? Oh, you mean the, the uh, when when they were pumping cocaine into the black communities? And, yeah. Yeah, I think it was wrong. Yeah. I, absolutely. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. So you acknowledge that? That I mean, right? You in know, occurred, know that's, that's know. history. I, I uh, believe that's wrong. I believe okay. they went about it the wrong way, and that's the that's the concern that we have with large government, unchecked executive branches such as the CIA. Mm -hmm. You know, they fund their secret wars. They they did some. No unscrupulous things and i don't agree with that stuff i, th I wish they wouldn't have done that uh, but that that just demonstrates why we need to keep a close eye on you think them. ronald reagan's in hell i don't i don't judge anyone that's not my decision to i think, I, Ra I I think reagan's in hell I, I think pretty much every president in my lifetime is going to hell every president i uh, pretty much you I, think Obama's going to hell? I, I don't think i don't think any, you I, said every president yeah i don't think you get i don't think you're a good person if you like want that job and you get to that level i don't think i you think can, you can be a good you know, person I, I i think it's harder now. you know who the last good person i think jimmy carter and he wasn't even perfect but i think jimmy carter you know and he's been trying to redeem himself for the last 40 years I, building habitat for I humanity just think houses. It depends on what your purpose was in going into public service Okay. I believe there's people here in this chamber that, that may not have come for the right purpose. I believe yeah. I came for the right purpose, which was to try to bring change in areas that I believe I have a little bit of expertise and I can lend some experience to. And that's why most of my bills, you see, I keep it within a very narrow framework of, of what I introduce. You I had a good I, performance today. I'll give you that. I don't, I don't step up. It's not a performance. Well, I mean, you know, just uh, in terms of like an, you know, compliment, yeah. like I'm not saying that it was a performance, but you did good at your job today. Well, today they were coming to speak on behalf of two of my bills. Yeah. So, of course, I'm going to acknowledge them and thank them for coming through. I mean, these are interested parties that we've worked with for months on bills. I mean, there's a slew of criminal justice bills. If you look at the list of legislation I propose, I try to stay within my lane mm -hmm. where I feel like I actually have, you know, ability to, to articulate the points and be able to answer questions and, and educate my colleagues in regards to that. And in areas that I'm not an expert, I refer to them. So. Okay. Uh, last question. 
I got a tip. Are you are you deleting are you deleting official comments on your Facebook page? Because I'm not sure you can do that. Uh, you might want to look at Supreme Court precedent. You might want to look at because I know you can't block. You can you just well, saying you can delete them. You, no, I'm just saying I, I'm not acknowledging anything. Uh -huh. uh, I, people people right. can have their comments removed from from Facebook, and that, it still shows up as a comment, yeah. but then it's it's taken down. So I've, say, had, I've had people report. You say my, Facebook said, "Oh, you've had people report." I've had people report comments on my page. I've had people report my own comments in response to them on my page. Okay. So I don't. There's no reason for me to hide from that. But if if I did do it, it's perfectly legal. Okay. You may want to look at that. The the court case in regards to Trump was actually uh, disregarded. That's not precedent now. Okay. And we have a sixth district court of appeals decision in the state of Ohio that says politicians don't have to give a platform to individuals on social media. Yeah. But you can't, I mean, but then there was that whole Facebook thing with uh, Andy Brenner. You, you and he got caught blocking people. You can't, like, you can't block people, right? You, you, may, you may want to look at that. I, okay. I, I don't have anyone currently blocked on my pages. Uh -huh. I, I saw you sponsoring uh, the end of the date, end of the, like, the spousal rape. You're a co-sponsor on that bill. I've been from the beginning. Yeah. I actually was introducing the bill uh, in the beginning, and then I was told by two veterans that they were introducing it, so I backed off. Okay. That's you've, all you've, you've come a long way from the Hillary Clinton jokes. I, I still stand behind the joke. It's funny. All right, all right. Good to know, I mean, brother. You got, you got to understand that we're human. I, I have a sense of humor just like everybody I, else. I'm in I college, know. poking fun. Well, but you like, said I'm you were calling. I mean, I'm you. A human, I'm, I'm a human like everybody else. You I'm were, fun. you were, you were in your thirties, mm -hmm. making rate, and I would just be like, you know, I'd be like, yeah, like I wouldn't stand by. I'd be like, yeah, it was, a, it was a dumb joke I made. You know, I've made dumb jokes before. I've said dumb statements. Well, I, I think it was. A, I mean, standing by, well, you're just doubling don't get me down. Wrong. I don't. I think it was a dumb joke, but I still think it was a joke. Right? I still think it was a joke. I mean, but it, yeah, I mean, it's a rape joke. It's a little rape it joke. It wasn't. It was about her looks, if you look at it, man. You said, like, yeah, you said that out the fact she, she hangs out with rapists. She's surrounded by rapists. I mean, just they're jokes are women. Ah, oh, I mean, see, you just, ah. Oh. I mean, you, you can keep... All that, good, all that repertoire we had just went down I mean, the drain, brother. you can brother. keep bringing it up while you want. I'm not the type of person to apologize for things that I've done in the past. I yeah. don't. I move on from it. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I was in college. Yeah, I was making some... Well, I mean, you were, 30, you were in your mid-30s in making college. making some dumb comments and some dumb posts on Facebook that occupied time. I did it all the time. I used to debate, debate people 24-7. Why? I was just now getting over a disability. Social media was the only interaction that I had with the outside world for six years while I laid in bed and was 458 pounds. So I got used to just having these debates and open dialogue on, on social media. Yeah. And that's what I used it for at the time. It helped me get through the situation I was in. You happy, you happy with your district? Um, I, yeah. I, cause I, I heard you were running around telling people, you know, you're going to get this new. Because, I mean, a lot of people don't realize you won a Biden district. I mean, it wasn't an insurmountable, but it was a Biden district. And I, 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 I got two of your colleagues. What do you mean by that? In your first election. I did win. Your it. district was I, a Biden I, election. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, you know. I won a, I won a district, and when I first announced, I was even a heavier Democratic district at the time. Yeah. I mean, when I first announced, it was, I was in Sweeney, uh, she, uh, Sheehy's district. Yeah. Which was, you know, a heavier Democratic district. It is what it is. But I heard you've been run, you were running around tell, you know, telling people for a while that you knew you were going to get, because now, I mean, you're in this, a typical Republican gerrymandered district. Well, I knew and you knew like you, uh, you knew they were going to protect you in that way. No, no, absolutely not. I knew that it was going to go towards Derek Merritt's old district. And, and where was I getting that from? That wasn't from Republicans. That was from Democrats. Really? Yeah, because by putting, they can't, and... by putting me in Derek Merritt's old district, they were going to pick up a potential seat. It was uh -huh. going to go from two Ds, two Rs in Lucas County's four seats to three Ds, one R, like it used to be in 2020. Okay. So they were encouraged that they were going to be picking up a seat. So the first people that told me that my district was going to be drawn that way was Democrats. I mean, where, where's Derek Barron been? I, I, I heard he eats his, ketchup, his steak well done with ketchup. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I got a tip. I got a tip from you a worker. Patriots, weird, Patriots weird. Caucus report. Uh, from a worker at a restaurant up in Toledo, hit me up. He was up there talking about his congressional run. He said he ordered a steak well done with ketchup. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him about it next I'm time I see him. Medium, uh, uh, medium well kind medium. of. Medium. Oh man. Yeah. I'm, I'm don't a, say that on tape, bro. You're I'm, losing votes. You're losing. A, that's a way to lose a Republican I'm, election. I'm a medium, medium well, depending on how it's cooked. If it's too pink, I don't like it. I like it with a sliver of pink and nice and juicy. Oh. That's how I like my steak. All right. Take it easy, bro, boys.